what's up welcome back to another video it's saturday morning i just made breakfast i went on a walk this morning and got my coffee and it was so nice it was like an hour long walk to a coffee shop that's close by and it was just amazing so i did that this morning came back took a body shower put on a bathing suit because we're laying out by the pool. Shocker, I know. I feel like every vlog that I've posted has been something along the lines of us being out in the sun for, for at least one day out of the weekend. So I have some friends coming to join us. So that's exciting. Yeah, that's what's going on today. Probably go get dinner after the pool, but we'll probably be there a majority of the day Also on my morning walk. I use this bag if you missed my last video I got this bag for our trip. This bag is a 10 out of 10 I really liked having it on my walk having everything around my waist hands-free stuff like that Christian's um, car is getting an oil change, so they gave him a rental car, and he has the 2021 Lexus. It is so nice. I'll show you the outside when we get to CVS. Okay, we just got back from getting ice and sunscreen, and I bought some chapstick that I didn't need, but here's the outside of the car. Really nice. but we ran out of pods so we're going to Costco Trader Joe's and then I'm going to Publix to grab just a few things that we need for the week I only like to buy frozen stuff or specific stuff from Trader Joe's because I find that their fruits and vegetables don't last as long as when I buy them from Publix I don't know if any of you can relate to that, but I feel like they don't last nearly as long as buying them from Publix. So I'm just going to buy like dinner sides and lunch sides at Publix. So we're doing that today. We went and had breakfast this morning at First Watch. It was really good. I got their seasonal elote Mexican hash brown thing. It was so good. They're about to take it off the menu though, but it was really good. So if you have a first watch near you, definitely try that dish out. It's so good. It's heavy, but it's really good. Also, I got these Sunbum chopsticks yesterday at Walgreens or CVS, whichever one it was. And I'm not like the biggest fan of them. I find that you have to reapply like every five minutes because it just completely is gone off your lips after five minutes so i'm not the biggest fan of them they're not sticky but they're definitely like oil consistency almost like you put coconut oil on your lips but i just have never tried them before and i saw them in the checkout line and i feel like those checkout lines get you with stuff like that 
my coffee jar is looking a little sad. There's only one pod left, so I'm gonna restock the pods. So I think I'm gonna do, I have more of the Master Origins. So when I got the collection, it came with two of each and then four of the, it came with four of this one. So I think I'm gonna do the Master Origins next. Ethiopia, Peru. Um, this is, I think, a, I think this is a Grand Lungo. Looks like this. Peru, I think this is just a single shot of espresso. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I prefer it iced, but it's not the best. I like Ethiopia and the Costa Rica one. I think this is a Grand Lungo as well. Yeah, that's a Grand Lungo. This is just a single shot. And then, I think this is from Nicaragua and it's a double shot of espresso. And I can only do this ice because it's so cherry flavored to me that it's just, it's like chocolatey and cherry. It's rich. Kind of just get sick of it. I can't really do it hot. So I have two of these because it came with four of them. Not the biggest fan of these. I love the Costa Rica one. It's my absolute favorite. I have a whole YouTube video where I taste test these and tell you my honest thoughts. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But the Peru one is just so complex. It's, I don't know, it's not my favorite. These are the pods for the next, I guess, month and a half, however long they last. And then I have like five more boxes left and then I need to do a restock. So I'll definitely be doing a restock in the next few months. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy my Nespresso restock videos and hauls. So I'll be doing that soon. Here, let me put my face in it. Since it stopped raining, I think we're gonna now head to Trader Joe's and Costco. We just went to three different grocery stores, Costco, Trader Joe's, and Publix. And then we stopped at Blaze Pizza and grabbed some pizzas. I'll show you a little bit of what we got from Trader Joe's. Okay, here is a quick little haul of some of the stuff that I just wanted to show you and pull out. This isn't all we got, but I just wanted to show you a few things that we got from Costco, Trader Joe's, and then just like an item from Publix. I've mentioned this before, we get all of our meats from Costco because they mostly come vacuum sealed, so they last in the freezer. And it's just cheaper to buy in bulk when it comes to stuff like this. It lasts us usually a month. First we got ground beef, the chicken and the salmon are in the fridge and freezer. We're gonna vacuum seal the salmon. That is the only thing that doesn't come vacuum sealed that we purchased. I'm gonna use this for my lunches and I'm gonna show you what I bring this week using this and some other stuff. So I'll show you that when I make my lunches for the week, but that's just one of the items that we got. We get the eggs there, they're really good. We got these this time, <laughs> sound really good. I'm gonna try one later. That's what we got from Costco. I'll show you the salmon and I'll show you the chicken when we vacuum seal the salmon. Okay, now Trader Joe's. So we needed more everything but the bagel seasoning. Got these chips, these are really good. I mention this every time with the chunky guacamole. This pear is so good. 
I saw this on the Trader Joe's Instagram account that I follow. I'll put the name on the screen of the account just in case you want to follow it. But this is a new item and Christian loves the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. So we haven't tried them yet, but they're probably delicious. So we picked up a bag of those. We got these last time and they were really good. So we got them again. We got two of these almond butter almonds. These are so good. We went through the bag really fast. We got two this time. Sourdough bread. Trader Joe's has the best sourdough bread. I put it in the freezer so it lasts longer. Ginger shots. Can't go to Trader Joe's and not get the ginger shots. Yogurt covered pretzels. These are really good. We got this 21 seasoning salute. And it says that it's good on burgers and eggs. So we'll try that out. I saw this. It just seems so delicious. Brownie crisp coffee ice cream sandwiches. Wow. I'll let you know if they're good. And then I didn't want to drive to a fourth grocery store and go to Whole Foods to get my milk. Here, let me show you. This is the oat milk that I usually drink. It's the milk oat milk, but I didn't want to drive to Whole Foods to get it. So I was just gonna get an almond milk, but they didn't have almond milk in this brand. And the reason that I like this is because it's just two ingredients, no gums, no oils, no nothing that you can't pronounce. So that's what I've been trying to do. I have found that Oatly actually made me bloated at the end of the day. So I would drink it in the morning and I haven't had those terrible, awful stomach aches that I used to get at the end of the day since cutting out oat milk or Oatly oat milk. So I don't know if that's linked to it at all, but ever since switching to one that has simpler ingredients and nothing that I can't pronounce or I think it was the sunflower oil or some type of oil that was in it that just is inflammatory. So it makes sense, but I wanted to get something that has simple ingredients, so I wanted to try this milked walnuts milk. I've never tried it, so we'll see if it's good. Let me know if you have tried any of their milks, because they have so many. They have milked cashews, the almond milk, milked walnuts, and I think there's a few more. But this is all they had that was good on ingredients in Publix, so I just got this. So I'll let you know. That's the haul. Now we're going to vacuum seal the salmon. I'm going to separate the ground beef. Is it because it just comes all together? Here is how the chicken comes. Looks like this. And it comes in individual vacuum sealed bags and you just cut them. So that way when you pull them out of the freezer to thaw, they're already separated. So it literally just looks like this. I know this is gross to some people, but you just cut it right here. They're separate. laundry going if you can hear it but I'm just starting to meal prep my lunches for the week and I wanted to show you what I'm bringing I know I kind of briefly talked about it earlier but jasmine rice then I put some frozen peas in there and then here's the ground beef that I showed earlier that we got from Costco and this is what I'm gonna season it with I usually do garlic powder onion powder salt pepper but I'm going to use this seasoning that we got I just kind of tasted it a little bit and it's pretty good. It has onion in it, so I'm not gonna use onion powder, so I'm gonna use this in replacement of it. I'll let you know if it's good, but when I edit the video, I'll put if it's good or not on the screen. What I will have Monday through Thursday, and then Friday I'll just bring something else.
Okay, I just went and checked my mail and I got my refill on my probiotic. I've been taking the seed probiotic. This is my second month and so far I like it. I used to take it about a year and a half ago and then I just stopped for no reason. And then now I'm taking it again and I really like it. It has only been a month. I feel like with stuff like this, you need at least three months on it, but so far it's good. My body didn't really go through like a big adjustment, but everybody's different when it comes to stuff like this. So you keep the jar that they originally send you when you first start your subscription and then they just send you these packets of the pills to refill the jar with and that's all it is. So it's a cool concept so they're not just constantly sending you a new jar and they also send you a little travel jar as well and they're glass jars. So that way when you do travel it's like a smaller thinner tube and you can just bring however many pills you need to travel with and you're good to go. But I really do like seed and it has really good reviews. It's really like it explains their whole method and all the science behind the pill. Definitely do your research on it before you try it, but I really do like it. I'm about to shower and go to bed, get up for work tomorrow. I'm all ready for the week though. I just did a ton of laundry, meal prep my lunches as you saw. Um, just got a lot of stuff done. I've cleaned the apartment today. Just feel very accomplished. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed because I have fun upcoming travel videos coming to my channel. So stay tuned for those. I'm really, really excited. So definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.